apologize for all of the ambient noise going on between the AC and the uh, leaf blower. This is this is our reality. <laughs> so I woke up at 5.30 today, which has not happened in an excruciatingly long time. My sleep cycle has been out of whack due to an incredible lack of going outside and an absence of routine. I have rediscovered my love for mornings and how like annoyingly perfect I can craft my mornings when I wake up at 5.30 a.m. I feel like it's easier to trick myself into becoming a healthier, more well-balanced person when I wake up in the morning because there's this illusion that early risers are people who generally have their shit together and people who generally have their shit together are ones that work out, ones that eat healthy, ones that practice self-care. And it's been really nice, I won't lie to be able to wake up in the morning and start my day with a sense of calm rather than this panicked, rushed fear that I've overslept and need to compensate by working all day. Not to say that there isn't going to be a, a sense of that today because I have a midterm at 4.40 that I have yet to start studying for. It is for my signals processing class. That is, um. That is the, the mistake we are compensating for today. I've been having a really good time making content lately. Ever since I started my whole like running challenge video, which if you haven't seen, I, I, I would recommend it. I think that it's pretty interesting to watch. You may disagree, watch and be the judge. Ever since filming that piece of content and, you know, forcing myself to become a runner or someone who enjoys recreational fitness. I don't know, I've just felt so much better. I feel so much more grounded. I feel so much more whole and I feel so much more excited. I think it also helps that we have settled into quarantine for an extended period of time. Humans are surprisingly adaptable and flexible beings where we're able to adjust and adapt to the situations in which we're given. I guess my body has finally managed to come to terms with the fact that this is our new reality. My spirit has been able to come to terms with this new reality and it feels pretty fucking good. I feel like I've also just started taking the content that I create much less seriously. 
I had put this immense amount of pressure on myself to create serious content, whatever that means. I essentially just wanted to be taken seriously. I'm not even quite sure what that entails anymore, but since I've just let go and accepted that, hold on, I can't, again, the struggles, eyeliner chatting, difficult. I feel like I'm much more comfortable with my voice and tone now than I was any time on the internet before now, I guess. I was just very scared about receiving criticism or negativity, which is kind of silly because I, you know, I kept saying that like not everyone is going to agree with you. I, I try to be an open-minded person. I think that being open-minded to other people is one of my strong suits, but I wasn't very good at being open-minded to myself. But since quarantine hit and I've had a lot of time to just sit and reflect upon my values and, you know, the things that I want to share, I take the content that I create less seriously and it's felt good. Like, it feels good to not feel like I'm trapped into worrying whether or not people like me. I feel like I've had a relatively, like, degaff energy throughout most of my life, but deeply and truly, I do still care about what people think. I'm not really quite sure where I'm supposed to be, <laughs> where I'm going with this tangent. But in summary, I just take myself less seriously. Um, I feel like there is value in being authentic and true to yourself and your voice. I feel like there is, there's this like secret shame of being a content creator where you want to grow and you want to, you know, find mainstream success because of the opportunities and the financial security that it, you know, allegedly affords you. I feel like the way that I was approaching seeking the success was through data, creating content that was very clickable and by, you know, ignoring my own desire to communicate in a way that felt authentic to me. I'm not actually quite sure if that sentence strings together nicely. Um, I guess I'll find out when I'm editing this. But for so long, I kept struggling with this lack of identity where I didn't know where in the world of the internet I fit. And I feel like I've always been someone who's struggled with a sense of belonging to a community always had a really hard time fitting in um, growing up even now. The concept of having a large group of friends is very foreign to me um, and like I'm not gonna lie I wish that I was someone who could you know find that crew. You know when you watch movies about college like rom-coms whatever it's the primary character usually has like this crew of friends where they feel very comfortable it's like four, five, six of them, and they are all joined at the hip. I've never had that experience. And then being this person on the internet in which all these people converge, it felt very foreign to me. And I felt like I just wasn't, I felt very pressured to make sure that everyone liked me. Not to say that I don't care about that now, because, you know, at the very core, we all just want to be liked. We all want to have a sense of belonging. I feel like I have less of a personal investment in making sure that everybody likes me because I've accepted that even though I've tried to present myself in the most aesthetic way possible, the most mild-mannered, enjoyable, vaguely friendly way possible, then not everyone's going to be happy. Not everyone is going to enjoy the content that I make. Some people are just going to be mean for the sake of being mean. Thanks to all this time that I have to muse and ponder, practice some armchair philosophy, I've kind of just decided to live more authentically, which is dumb. Which is not to say that I haven't been authentic on the internet prior to this point, I don't know, I feel like the way that we present ourselves 
especially on social media, is such a... It's always evolving because we as humans are evolving and it would be strange if we were to stay stagnant in the way that we present ourselves because our values change over time. Yeah, I, I'm also like way less comfortable sharing my opinions sitting in front of a camera and talking or through like through my own physical voice. I'm much more comfortable writing and expressing the way that I feel in that medium. Writing is my favorite medium of communication but I'm hoping to practice my voice more. I want the character that I write myself to be as, you know, someone who's bold and brave and unapologetic in the way that they speak, but always willing to listen to the other side. I want that person to be who I am in real life. Also to say that the blog is gonna be more bumpin' because I am two weeks away from being fun employed as a new grad with no job and a lot of time on her hands, I've decided to start blogging more like it's 2012. So here's to new beginnings and another fresh start. I don't know. I'm done. I'm done babbling. Okay. Study time.